Hello and welcome back. Today we're going to be taking a look at how to create and apply patches using the Tortoise SVN client so we can submit patches into the Subversion Source Control System. A patch is nothing more than a single file that will group together multiple changed files so you can submit those. You'll normally want to create a patch and submit it when you don't necessarily have rights to do direct commits into the source tree. This is pretty common in things like the open source arena. To create a patch, it's pretty straightforward. And I've actually already made changes to my source tree so I can demonstrate creating a patch. We'll then later apply that patch back to the source tree to make sure and make sure that the changes were actually applied. To create a patch, all you have to do is go to the root directory of the folder structure, go down to Taurus SVN, click Create Patch. Now it's going to prompt you to ask you which files that have changed do you want to include in your patch. You can select and deselect any of the files that you want. In our case, I want to use the feeds.cs and the web.config. So let's go ahead and click OK. Now it's going to ask me where do I want to save this patch. Pick a folder. And go ahead and create a patch file. Now if I navigate to the patches folder, which is where my patch was saved, you'll see there's a single file called episodedemo.patch created. This contains both the, the, the feed.cs and the web.config file. And think of it almost as like a zip file, but with a different style of extension. Let me go ahead and revert my changes out of my source tree so I can get them back into a clean state. This will allow me to better and more easily uh, apply the patch and show that actually worked. Okay, so now that my source tree should be back to clean, let's go ahead and apply the patch. There's two different ways you can actually apply a patch. You can actually apply it blindly, which is I'm going to accept all the changes without reviewing it, or I can actually choose each file one by one, review the changes, just determine if there's a merge that needs to take place, merge manually if needed, and then apply the patch. The easiest way to apply blindly is right-click the file, go toward the SVN, Apply Patch. And it's actually going to prompt me and ask me for the directory that my patch is located in. And when you get to the Merge screen, you'll see two windows pop up, the Merge window and then the File Patches window. The File Patches window will basically list you all the files that are included inside that patch. If I want to accept both change both file changes without reviewing them, I can select them both, right click, and do patch all. Now when I close this down, you'll notice that my domain and my web config file have changed. To verify let's go ahead and verify that I've actually changed these files. So we'll go up to the diff. And we'll scroll down and sure enough the working copy, which is the copy that's in my source tree, is different. Than, I'm sorry, my working base is different than what's my working copy, which is on my disk. So the patch did apply the changes, and now I could go ahead and commit those. Well, that's the way you can do it blindly, but what if I actually want to verify the changes and actually merge them manually if need be? Let's go ahead and show you how to do that. Let me revert this code real quick so I can get it back to a clean state. So we'll go back to our patch. Again, we'll go to our SVN, apply patch. We'll grab the two, we'll grab the feed.cs file. Let me shrink this up real quick and move it out of the way. To patch this one, I just want to do preview patch file, because I actually want to see the changes. And over on the left will be the original, and over on the right will be the new patch file that you want to submit. I can switch these back and forth by simply switching the toggle button. I'm going to go ahead and scroll down, and over here you'll notice that in yellow is the files that have changed, and here is the original. Now, in my case, I want to actually include all these changes except for some of these white spaces. 
and then we'll go ahead and get rid of some of the others. To delete the files that you don't want to include, all you have to do is turn this plus into a minus. You'll notice that when I turn this minus back into a plus, the line through the, the, uh, the text gets removed. And I can pick and choose which lines I want, and then I can actually come up here and do a save. And you'll notice that when I select away from the file patches window, that the feeds.cs file grays out. It went from black to gray. So if I click off of that, you'll see web.config is black, feed.cs is gray. That tells me I've already dealt with the feed.cs file. Let's go ahead and take a look at the web.config file. Notice that here I'm replacing the no space uh, keyword with the ampersand keyword, and I want to keep that, so we'll go ahead and keep these changes as are as is and uh, I'll go ahead and save that and if I close this out go back into my demo feeds if I do a diff you'll should be able to see my changes sure enough I've added oops, oh, this is just the diff I've added added the correct ones I've deleted some white space and I've actually removed some of the the lines I didn't want to incorporate If I come down to my web.config file, I should be able to see that my changes there also took place. And they did. This is my working copy, which is the copy that's on my disk. So there you go. You have There you have it. You have a very simple example on how to create a patch within Tortoise SVN. And creating a patch couldn't have been any easier. You simply right-click and tell it the files you want to include. Then we went over two different ways you can actually apply the patch. We can apply it blindly, which is accepting all the changes without review, or we can actually ex take a look at file by file, review each change, merge them if necessary, and then accept the changes. So I hope you learned something today. Until next time.